Hello, first years. Welcome to Students of Wales uh, Orientation. Uh, my name is Dr. Alice Kim Tomita. I'm the Dean of Students at the Hebrew University. Uh, first of all, I'd like to welcome you to Kibabu University. Uh, Kibabu University is a, a university of your choice and uh, I would really want to take this singular opportunity to welcome you, our beloved first years, students for the 2020-2021 academic year. Take this opportunity to congratulate you for making it to Kibabu University. University entry provides students the opportunity to define and advance careers opportunities. And Kibabu University will give you that opportunity to advance your career. You need to manage your life and make decisions that define your careers and professional growth. So it will depend on how you divide your time while you're in Kibabu University. The environment at the university is totally different from your respective high schools. This is because it presents a major break from parental and teacher supervision. You will not have the dormitory prefects, you will not have the class prefects, you will not have the teachers on duty and even the principal. And so here, we will treat you as adults who will make their own informed choices. So any choice that you make, we will treat you like you have made it when you are really well and um, you know what you're doing. Remember that choices have consequences. And so make sure that you take your time to make choices when you are here in the university, even choosing friends and choosing your 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 maybe your 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 friends and all the people whom you are going to interact. We are going to help you and please come to the students affairs department. We have the mission, the vision, the motto and the core values. Our vision is to be a center of excellence in the provision of students' welfare services. Our mission actually is to provide efficient and effective students' welfare services to the students of Kivu. Our motto is intervention for holistic development. This one we do through counseling, career, uh, career progression. We also do it through games and sports and chaplaincy. We have the core values. That is productivity. You have to be productive when you are here. That is positively, not negatively, like getting children or, or even engaging in bad um, behaviors. We have equity, integrity, freedom of expression, social responsibility. And so the Students Affairs Department is a department that is under the general guidance of the Deputy Vice Chancellor, Academic and Students Affairs, who is also the head of the Academic and Students Affairs Division. We always liaise with the Office of the Vice Chancellor, University Management Board, Faculties, Health Services, and Security Office, and especially in matters involving students' welfare. It is meant, uh, the Students' Affairs is meant to provide a home away from home for the students. So we act as your parents in these institutions for anything that touches on parental and uh, um, uh, bringing. That is what we do as Students' Affairs. We also incorporate we also cooperate with the general public on matters affecting individuals or group, group of students like accommodation, security, cohesion, and integration. Once you are here, when uh, the COVID-19 will actually flatten, we'll allow you to come 
to Kibabu and then he liaises with you on these issues. The Students Affairs Office is temporarily located at the eastern wing of the library on first floor. We coordinate all the activities concerning students' welfare, the guidance and counseling, the chaplaincy, games and sports for those students who are very active. We also go in our games and sports up to the international level. Students with special needs, that is our responsibility. Clubs and societies, the students' organization, that is SOKU. The entertainment groups like uh, drama, choir, salsa, and other entertainment groups. The wardenship and the students' conduct and discipline is what we undertake in students' affairs. I'd like to introduce you to the clubs and societies. And in our clubs and societies, we have several of them in which they are displayed in our website. The, the clubs and societies are formed in advance and uh, their objectives are supposed to be in accordance with the university statutes and the relevant national requirements. The formation of clubs and societies should also adhere to the requirements of national values like uh, with regard to cohesion and integration. The, the formation of clubs and societies also shall not be based on tribal or ethnic inclination. We have nothing to do with the calendar, the Kikuyu, the Luya, the Luo associations. We do it on regional basis. And so the clubs and societies are also supposed to be self-supporting in all financial matters. Uh, we manage them using their constitutions as their guidelines and their principles so that uh, the clubs and societies can adhere to the rules and regulations of the university. The scheduled activities for the clubs and societies must be approved in the Dean of Students Office. And so this, the clubs and societies uh, leaders are supposed to do the schedules in the beginning of the semester. And the topics discussed by external guests, like if you want to invite uh, the politicians, you want to invite people from outside the Babu University, then those approvals should only be done by the vice chancellor through the Dean of Students. Uh, university facilities may not be used also for sub-county, the county and national political campaigns. So any political campaigns that are external are not supposed to be brought into the university. The fundraising for the clubs are not authorized to be done inside the clubs, but outside the, I mean, out, out, not inside the university, but outside the university. The clubs and societies shall also not use the university logo. They must have their own logo and they must uh, produce their certificates which are approved by the Dean of Students. So if you participate in the clubs and societies, then you will be presented with a, a certificate for that club. And it depends on how active you are. We deal with the students' leadership. Our students' leadership is called SOKU, that is Students' Organization of Kibabu University. The, this is a very important component in the university management system. The union also uh, plays an integral role in university management and it contributes to decision making on matters that are affecting students, academic, social life, on campus, and national issues. So there are the spokespeople, I mean, there are the voices of the students. It is registered in the Students Affairs Department and approved by the University Senate. The students' leadership also comprises of seven students' government council and eight con 18 Congress office bearers with designated functions. So you are encouraged actually to do the leadership once you are here. You will be able to do the leadership. It has a guiding constitu constitution 
that determines and controls the activities and responsibilities of the leaders to the student's body and to the university as defined by the various organs. Students' leaders enjoy themselves. Uh, we have clips where the student leaders are enjoying themselves at Domo Kenyatta Public uh, Beach. We have the students who are uh, enjoying themselves in the outside Kibabu University because they have privileges. I would like to talk about the rules and regulations governing students' conduct. And I know that uh, when you were actually sent the admission letters, it, the rules and regulations were included. The greatest reason for making and following rules is not actually to avoid punishment, but to make life a community fair and peaceful. People always need rules and laws to be able to live together harmoniously and to show respect to each other. And so, the rules and regulations governing the conduct of students of Kibabu are therefore intended to ensure that order is maintained within the student's fraternity. It's not for punishing you, it's not against the students, it's not uh, for policing you, it's not actually meant to put you into prison as such, but it's meant to help you live harmoniously with others. At the same time, the rules and regulations are meant to lay a sound foundation for your future adult responsibility. Please read the rules and carefully abide by them, not only for your own good, but also for the better welfare of the entire Kibabi University community. In the event of breach of the regulation, and depending on the nature of the offense, the officers referred above, that is the Dean of Students, the Deputy Dean of Students, the Vice Chancellor, will follow some procedures. And one of it is that the student will be required to uh, make a written statement in response to the charges within two days. This one will be taken through by the security office. They will tell you the details. And the Dean of Students is able to issue a warning, a caution, or either write a, a judgment within the two days. The student shall also be required to attend the hearing in person. And so when the students are summoned, if you will be summoned, if you will get into a breach of these rules and regulations, and be bear with us and abide by the rules and regulations. And in the time that maybe you have been, you have been found uh, to be guilty, then you will be required to be accompanied by your parents or your guardian whose details are recorded in our files. So please don't bring a person who, whose records are not with us. Kindly bring the records that are supposed to be availed. And bring a person who is supposed to stand for you as your guardian or your parent. The, during the disciplinary committee meeting, the students might be expelled or may be summoned to show cause or may be suspended for some time. So it will depend on the case and it will depend on the weight of the case. And so the students are also supposed to uh, 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 abide by the rules and regulations governing the examination, the graduations, and the elections. In um, a situation where the students may bring chaos during examinations, or graduations or elections, then these students will be actually subjected to a disciplinary. But in the case where a student can take the university to court, then that student will be uh, expelled from the university. 
and so we kindly do and give into going to the court before we listen to your case if you will fall into that trouble. In conclusion, I would like to ask you that you be aware of the terror groups that are targeting institutions of higher learning to recruit students. This is a major problem in the universities and so kindly don't join those groups and if there is any group, kindly come to us as students affairs. Choose your friends wisely and use your time appropriately. I would like to, to take this opportunity again to welcome you and ask you to abide by the rules and regulations of Kibab University. I'm your dean, uh, I do parental uh, guidance and kindly I'm your disciplinary master in, in also. Kindly come to Kibabi when you know that all things are going to be set and you will enjoy the environment of Kibabi. We'll support you psychologically, physically and emotionally. Karibu sana.